because this area around here was actually a good area maybe to add to my position and move my stop loss welcome all to this video where i'm going to recap a trade that i took on disney last week to show you how i can catch big trends during the day and the first thing that i'm looking for to catch trend and it's actually the most important thing if you want to be a trend trader and if you want to catch big runners you need to be good at analyzing the daily chart even before the market open a day or a few days before trade should actually be executed you should have that plan that around this area when the daily chart reaches this particular area or when the daily chart does this particular thing this stock could actually start a trend and that's where i want to react to. and looking at this daily chart in disney you could see that we had a few days of consolidation this is exactly where it grabbed my interest i saw that it's going sideways and i knew that if this thing breaks up above this consolidation it's going to have at least a few days of runners i was patient i did not try to catch the breakout because if i did try to catch the breakout for a few days i could have been easily chopped out the moment this thing broke i realized that that's the moment and that's where i want to play now that i know that this is the day where i want to play disney to the long side i need to find some levels or areas where exactly i want to play it from looking at this 60 minute chart you could see that there are two areas or two zones or two levels that are interesting to play disney from you could also play obviously the breakout or maybe can catch bull flags or abcd patterns after the trend starts personally for me i love catching trends exactly from the dip and then manage to hold on for a whole runner let's go to trading terminal replay feature just to show you how i executed this trade and what i could have done to execute it better so there it is the market is opening and that is the level or the area that i'm interested in 9660ish and personally i started building my position around here we sold off in the pre-market and we rejected the level and i saw that we're selling off and we're starting the trend to the upside i started with a wide stop loss i knew that this thing could still go to the downside first minute entries are a little bit risky uh, we did not reject the level exactly there is also a resistance against us there it is around here around 98 where the price could go to the upside reject it could still chop in this channel before the trend another thing that you could do when you play is get the exact same entry that i got around here have a tight stop loss and obviously you'd be getting subbed out on the third minute but that does not mean that the setup has failed it also doesn't mean that stop watching it you need to keep watching it because there it is. That's the second level or area of interest that we're watching. And we want to see how the price is going to react when it approaches this level. I could see that we're rejecting this level. We're getting both back up one more time. That's beautiful. And this is where you could actually add to your position. And right now you could have a tighter stop loss. You see that we rejected this area in the pre-market. In the open, we had a lot of buying pressure and this is the low of the week you could see that we're breaking the low of the week that happened at the market open there it is around here but we are not selling off we still are getting bought back up from this area where we got bought back up from in the pre-market in this case you could add heavily you could move your stop loss either middle of the week either the low of the week depending on your risk management system and finally there is a question as of uh, how long should i hold on to my trade when it starts going in my favor Personally for me, and most of the time I actually partial around levels, for example around here you could see that there is a level at $98, normally I would, but because the daily chart looks so good, the 60 looks good, the level is obvious, I decided to hold it all throughout the whole average true range move. Taking a look at daily chart, or if you check the daily chart in Disney, you'll see that the average size of the candle on the daily chart is around $2. That means that the stock can approximately go from 97 all the way to 99. You obviously don't want to stretch it, you don't want to go all the way to 99. Maybe you might want to start partially around 99.80, 99.70, somewhere around there. Personally, I decided to hold it on all the way closer to 99 because it was the average true range value and at the same time, the average true range value coincided with this level from the pre-market and it also coincided with a level from yesterday the question now is whether you are going to be able to hold it for that long or you are going to get scared by small pullbacks and get wicked out of the trade the easiest thing you could do when you are in a position is set range orders set a stop loss order a target order especially when you are in trend trades leave and come back every few minutes every 15 minutes every 10 minutes or every half an hour 
to manage the position better or to decide what you could do with the trade later. For example, at this stage, I could see that we are forming some sort of a bull flag on the five minute chart. And this is something that I did not do when I actually executed my trade because this area around here was actually a good area maybe to add to my position and move my stop loss. And then I could just simply hold on to it all the way to the target. So there it is, once it starts approaching your target, that's finally where you could start taking partials. Like we discussed, $99 is the level from the pre-market and it's the average true range. 99.30ish is the previous day close. You could obviously start taking partials at the first moment of weakness. So that's it guys, catch trend, analyze the daily chart and find the daily direction. Find levels on the 60 minute chart, which we call the zones or areas of interest and finally wait for a setup on a smaller time frame or confirmation on a smaller time frame around the zone that you have marked before you execute trade and after that it comes all to managing your open position find where you can add to your position check the new stop loss areas that could act as strong levels of support or resistance just so that you move stop loss and have higher share size if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button share and subscribe to our channel and i'll talk to you in the next video